Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Zero and welcome to another Revelations video and in this video today I'm going to be showing you the newest and best possible camping spot on Revelations Now before I get into this video be sure to drop a like down below on this video and we shall get right into this camping spot So for this camping strategy you are going to buy the door on the bottom floor of the Kino area And you're going to keep the door closest to Widow's Wine closed on the top part of the stage and what you're going to do is you're simply going to come up here and what you will need to do is just basically grab all the guns and necessities that you need in order to go for a high round now why I advise keeping the door closest to widow's wine closed and the door that's going into the Eisendrach and the pyramid area is so that the zombies do not flush flush straight out of that doorway and it just makes it a whole lot easier for you to kill the zombies as all the zombies down that hallway through Widow's Wine and onwards, they all come in pretty much a straight line. And there's only two zombie spawns actually down that hallway. And it's pretty much like the cat walk from the giant, but you've got more room. Now, I have not encountered a panzer spawning in very close to me. I'm, my panzer actually spawned in fairly down that alleyway, just as I've shown where all the zombies are coming from anyway. And the Magua seems to do the same thing as well, which makes this camping spot very, very good. And so far, I have not experienced any zombies coming up from the right side of me down those stairs. As, of, as much as I know, I'm pretty sure the zombies only come down there if you move too far down those stairs. And if you just keep up to where I am in this cornered wall of the wall where it starts to go down, all the zombies will just come straight in front of you. But if you go too far down the stairs on your right, I'm pretty sure all the zombies will actually start to spawn down the other side and you will pretty much screw yourself over from there. But that is pretty much the majority of this camping spot. Now, if you enjoyed this camping spot and enjoyed this tutorial I have for you guys today, then be sure to drop a like down below on this video as that helps me out a lot and it helps me produce more better content for you guys. And if you're new around here and have not yet subscribed, then I suggest you do so as that helps out a lot as well. And for now, stay electric and I'll catch you all in the next video.